What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing Ditto. And not just Ditto, Bright Powder Ditto. The idea behind a Bright Powder Ditto is usually you would run a Scarf Ditto, uh, that way you can copy the opponent and be faster than them. But this Ditto can actually change moves and use Protect, and in the case of like Trick Room, you could actually have a chance of going first. Uh, so it's a pretty solid way to run Ditto. It also gives you the chance of having a second restricted sometimes, which is really cool. The rest of this team is really aggressive and really physical. You've got the classic Choice Band Dragonite plus Chen Pao combo, though this Chen Pao actually has Taunt to shut down a lot of support mods. Uh, you've got a Scarf Urshifu, but it's a little different, it's Terra Ghost. So like, in the face of Incineroar, sometimes you could get a surprise KO with Terra Ghost Surging Strikes. Uh, and also a Pelipper to support both the Zacian here, which is a Sword Dance set, and the Urshifu to give it some damage boost. And it's just our Wide Guard user. It's good to have a Wide Guard user in this meta. And also it's our special attack, so like, it's our only special attacker except sometimes Ditto. So it's good to always just have a little mix. This team is very physical, so like, something to get like Urshifu uh, is, and Chen Pao are good into like Incineroar, which can Will-O-Wisp this whole team, which would be annoying. And Pelipper also hits Incineroar really well. Zacian does not hit Incineroar well, so just be careful with that one. Uh, but anyways, this team was made by Tayo, who won a regional with Articuno. Uh, don't forget that. Uh, so you know this team is going to be super solid. And I'm ready to play Ditto, so let's get into it. Alright, Kyogre, Tornadus, Incineroar, Sarina, Chen Pao, Archaladon. Archaladon is really annoying because I don't have Sacred Sword on either of my sword guys. Kyogre isn't too bad, but Kyogre Sarina is really bad. Kyogre Sarina Tornadus is really bad because I can't use my priority moves and I don't have speed control of my own. Unless I can catch their Tornadus with my Ditto? That would be funny, right? I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try to catch their Tornadus with my Ditto. Which I think would go second. So I'm gonna bring something and then Ditto. They're definitely gonna have Sarina. I definitely want Zacian. They have Intimidate though, which may also be their lead. How do I break that arch? I guess I need Urshifu. Chen Pao's not bad either. Okay, Chen Pao. Urshifu, Ditto, Zacian, Chen Pao. I don't hate Pelipper either. But I think this is the way I want to go. I don't hate Pelipper. And we're gonna see who Ditto copies. Who Ditto copies on lead could make or break this matchup. Because this is kind of a tough matchup. That's a decent card. Come on, show me who's in that slot. Oh, did we did we copy Kyogre? Two water types against your Incineroar? I'll take it. Okay. I realize now I put the Ditto in the wrong slot. I was thinking my number one would be their number one, but no, my number one was Urshifu, and their number two was Incineroar. So I, I had them backward. Well, you win some and you learn some. All right. I've got a Kyogre. Who, well, I have to click a button to see what Kyogre has, which has only attacking moves, including Thunder. So a fake out Thunder could be flying here. Don't love that. Terra Ghost. Oh, I'm Terra Ghost. Terra Ghost surging strikes. Thunder there, Kyogre. Okay, Incineroar just swaps. I was hoping to catch a fake out into Urshifu there. Uh, into Archaladon. That's smart. You're gonna get triple uh, defense boost off of that. But I mean, the damage is damage. Uh, does this mean you're gonna go... You're not gonna go for a water move, right? You're gonna go for Thunder into Urshifu, right? Into my Kyogre. Oh, and you are faster than even my Urshifu. That's a Scarf Kyogre. 
That is a Scarf Kyogre over there that just locked itself into Thunder. Cool. Caladon, Incineroar. Oh boy. Scary lineup. Well, at least now I get my Thunder. Which does good damage. Get a Para. Oh, that's huge. That is so huge. That is enormous. That means I can Surging Strikes that slot for free. They can bring in what? Sarina? Guess I could Ice Beam the Sarina on Swap In. That would be funny. I'm gonna move second anyway, and this would just get redirected into Archaladon. Yeah, I like that. Yep, so we take out their Kyogre. Um, assuming we're faster than their Archaladon, which, because they're Scarf Kyogre, we should be. In fact, they have to be timid near max speed to outspeed this Urshifu. So we have to be much faster than Archaladon. They can't also be Scarf. Yep. And is that decent? That's decent. They're below half. They've got a lot of defense boost, though, and an Electro Shot's coming. I don't know who at. I don't think that takes out Urshifu, so you're probably going to want to KO Ditto. And Ditto can dodge with Bright Powder. <laughs> Come on, dodge it. Ah, oh, I didn't dodge it. Okay. I'd rather you take out Ditto, honestly. Now, who can actually damage an Archkaladon? Uh... These are both equally bad, but I'm gonna go Chen Pao to boost Urshifu's damage output. Oh, they also go Chen Pao. Okay. They want to sucker punch my Chen Pao. I see. They want to, no, they want to sucker punch with their Chen Pao into my Urshifu. Which, fair enough. I'll go Zacian. And I guess I Icicle Crash their uh, Archaladon, who is uh, a threat. It's the biggest problem in the world. Too bad Sword of Ruin doesn't stack. Two, two boosts on Sword of Ruin would be nice here to help take this thing out. Uh, I'm thinking they might try to Terra to get away from a Sacred Sword. Yeah. I don't have Sacred Sword, but that's the right call, because I might have it. Fairy? Bug. Bug? That's funny. No, Bug works. Bug's a good one, but it's just funny. Yep, called the Sucker Punch. Now put this in range of something from that. Man. I don't know. Oh, we get the flinch, though. That's huge. So many defense boosts. Uh, but they likely don't have Protect. They have Incineroar in the back. Play rough. They wouldn't swap out their Archaladon. And if they did swap out their Ar Archaladon, that would actually be great for me. So I'm gonna Behemoth Blade and Icicle Crash it. If you get rid of your defense boost, that's as good as KOing your own Archaladon. Yeah, there comes the Incineroar. Not really much I could do to abuse the Incineroar swap in other than ignore that slot and try to get the KO on Arch. Which still might not happen. Hemoth Blade should do a decent chunk of this. Ooh, it's gonna be so close. But with the Intimidate, and now they're at plus six, I don't think we pick up. Ah, so close. Body press into Zacian, we take. Amazing. Hmm. I could protect both. I think I'd rather get Urshifu in to threaten the other slot. I think it's protect Zacian, bring Urshifu in on Chen Pao slot. If they call that and like knock off plus Electro Shot, I'm cooked. Even just knockoff would be pretty bad, actually. 
snarl. Snarl to try to, to, to chip the sash. Just big damage. Wow. And Will-O-Wisp under Urshifu. Oh, that's not the worst. Oh, uh, unless the rain just ended. Oh, <laughs> the rain just ended. Awesome. Oh, boy. Well, I guess Behemoth Blade and Surging Strikes is what I have to click. It'll no longer KO the Incineroar because of the burn. But if they were Barry, they would have lived anyway. No berry. Okay. Finally, that guy's gone, but I'm not looking great. No, I'm looking real bad, actually. Oh, Chen Pao can't beat their Chen Pao because I don't have Sacred Sword. And I'm in Sucker Punch range, and I assume they take out Zazie in here? No, they take out Urshifu. Hmm. What can I do with that? Sucker Punch finishes off my Zacian. And then they what? They burn my Chen Pao? I guess I could go for Protect Taunt this turn. That's mostly safe, but like it's not a guarantee. I do not like Sucker Punch mind games. <laughs> Alright. There's the Sucker Punch. We don't know who into, but presumably Zacian. Now show me I blocked a Will O Wisp. Yeah, okay. That's a start. They can now double into Zacian with Sucker Punch and Knock Off. So I should have Swords Dance. I messed up. Uh, I guess I go for a Double Protect and try to Icicle Crash the Cat. Okay, I get the double protect. That's a start. That's a good start. Sucker Punch was into Zassi in there. As it should be. They're not making mistakes. I can't count on them to make a mistake. And knock off my sash here. Okay. One more crash does it to Ensign. And yeah, I'm going for another Protect with Zacian. It doesn't matter if the Protect succeeds, because it's just for Sucker Punch. Which it is again. Awesome. Reconnect. That should be enough. Alright, bye, Ensign. Oh, boy. I should not have gotten as far as I have. They've seen that my Protect just failed, so they think I'm going to go for it. I have to do this now. I have to go right now. Ooh, no, no good. Yikes. And Icicle Crash finally misses. Okay. Uh, do you have Sacred Sword? If not, we can play Icicle Crash games. I cannot win if they have Sacred Sword. Uh, they get, they're either faster or win the speed tie. No, they were ch Oh no, they were choiced!
That was conf that was a confusing camera angle. Their choice. Oh my goodness, I did not know that. So now I can sucker punch, and then it depends if struggle knocks me out. Am I gonna get knocked out by struggle here? I am no. <laughs> No way! No way! The double down from Struggle and they win it with Choice Ban Chen Pao. That's incredible. Wow! What a match. GG. Alright, oh, oh. Armor Rouge, Whimsicott, Indeedee. Wo Chien, Blood Moon Ursaluna, and Duskmane Necrozma. I feel like there's shenanigans afoot. The Armor Rouge and Didi makes me. The Armor Rouge Whimsicott and Didi in that particular order makes me think Whimsicott's gonna like U turn into weakness policy Armor Rouge or something. Priority spam is no good. They have so many potential Trick Room setters. Wide Guard Pelipper does seem good though. Pelipper seems awesome. So maybe I go Pelipper and. Something that could take a hit like Zacian. Pelipper Zacian, get a Swords Dance up, start going through them that way. Chen Pao's not bad either with Taunt on lead, but I'm not sure exactly what they're gonna go with. I want Ditto, because since I'm Bright Powder rather than Scarf, I could potentially do some stuff under Trick Room even. And then do I Chen Pao to have a Dark type? I mean, it also has Protect, which is good. There's no way to get rid of their terrain though, but maybe it just won't last very long and I can sucker punch stuff. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it won't be fine, who knows. They don't have a trainer card, so... Armor Rouge and Didi. Oh, it's just that, okay. Actually slower than their Indeedee with my Pelipper. That's cool. With my Terra Steel. All right, I'm gonna try to Weather Ball the Armor Rouge, and I'm gonna try to Behemoth Blade the Indeedee. I'm just gonna start out with damage, and I guess we're gonna take out Indeedee. Fine. And that KOs with a crit. Ooh, sorry, Armor Rouge. Not looking good for you. Here comes a Weather Ball. Bop. B oh, sad. Okay, I guess they can get Trick Room if they want it. Which they do. Let me guess, Blood Moon or Saluna? Yeah, there it is. I can double protect this turn just to stall out a turn of Trick Room and scout what they're trying to do. Because after you protect, you can still Wide Guard, so I'll be fine. Oh, we got a Terra out. Awesome. Is that just normal from Ursa Luna trying to Blood Moon my Pelipper? I can't imagine you go for Hyper Voice here. Or is that just a defensive Terra and you just want to Earth Power my Zacian? What do you got? Oh, it is Hyper Voice? Really? And expand- well, I'm clicking Wide Guard. I don't care if it's the wrong play, I'm clicking Wide Guard. 100%. Uh, I may even Terra Grass my Zacian. I'm Terra Steel here, that doesn't matter just in case they switch it up to Earth Power. And then, is it better to get damage on their Ursa Luna or finish off Armor Rouge?
I want damage on their bear. That's what I want. And this Terra Grass is just a cover for if they switch up to Earth Power. If they Blood Moon into my Zacian, yikes. Cause like, you didn't cover for Wide Guard last turn. You would this, the bear disappeared for a second. Yeah, there's the Earth Power, called it. Cool. And then what, Expanding Force anyway? Just in case I don't Wide Guard? Armor Cannon. Oh, we can take that in the range. It's gonna hurt. And damage into the bear is very nice. Nice. Now, Pelipper can't protect, actually, this turn. But their single target moves also don't really hit Pelipper, so I can just Wide Guard again. Protects Asian. Uh, maybe I should have attacked with Pelipper, but I do think they would throw one spread move here. I feel like they would like Armor Cannon again and Hyper Voice. Uh, it's just Blood Moon, okay. Can't get them all. But now next turn you can't Blood Moon and I can have an Ursaluna. Yeah, it was expanding force, okay. Guess it didn't matter. Yeah, I'll go ditto. Cause there's like a there's a 50-50 chance that I just go before their Ursaluna and mess them up. Trick Room, Armor Cannon, Expanding Force, with a Focus Dash. Would they have Wide Guard on their Armor Rouge? I don't want to risk it, so I'm going to Blood Moon their Ursaluna. I, I should go for a Double Protect on Zacian. No, I'm just going to go for a Hyper Voice and a Double Protect on Zacian. That should be fine, actually. I don't get the Double Protect, but there's no Wide Guard, right? Right. Oh, and we go first. Good job, Ditto. You did it. Woo! Ditto right there just put us in a great spot. They've already burned Terra. Terrain is gone. Presumably Necrozma's their last. We can just... I mean, Z Zassian can't actually do much damage to it. That's why I was staying in on the double protect rather than, like, switching out into Chen Pao. But we can do some good damage into this thing before it hits us. Um, I think Earth Power... Earth Power's gotta be more than Blood Moon, yeah. Even with the reduction from their Prism Armor. And then typically they have clear amulet, so I don't even think play rough for a potential attack drop is worth anything. I'll just behemoth blade for a little bit of damage. Oh, that damage was fine. I'll take it. And yeah, go after the ditto, that makes sense. If you can KO due to my low HP, you're in a good spot, right? But you cannot. Earth power should do something good. Ooh, it does it all! Ditto! Ditto, you're crazy! Just swept you with your owner's Alona! Alright, go Ditto! Good good Ditto showcase there. Good showcase of why non-scarf Ditto can work. GG. Alright, Kyogre Espathra. Okay, Fluttermane, Sableye, Tornadus, Landorus. And this person's like top 500, so that'll be fun. I'm not even close to like top 1000, so I don't know why they're giving me this matchup. Spathro, that's some cooking though. Oh, uh, they've got Tailwind, but they have no anti-priority. So honestly, Dragonite kinda goes in. They do have two ghosts. 
Sableye would be a little annoying. Uh, we have Chen Pao with Taunt. Zacian's Terra Grass. I like Chen Pao, I like Dragonite, Zacian, and Ditto. I just need to know what order to put them in. Maybe it's just Dragonite Chen Pao on lead with Zacian Ditto in the back? I mean, Zacian could be an okay lead except for, like, Sableye spreading burns. I don't know. This seems okay, though. Maybe if I just see Sableye, I just taunt it and, like, get Dragonite out to Ditto, maybe? Or... Oh, they got a Shiftry. Okay. That's, that's fine. Just Shiftry looking at me. And they're high rank too, so I don't know. They're cooking with this Espathra or something. Oh, man. This is gonna be a uh, gravity hypnosis shenanigans, right? I think I'll go ahead and copy your Espathra real quick and taunt your Sableye. That way your Sableye can only get one thing done. Uh, if that one thing is actually a fake out into Chen Pao, though, not a fan of that. And I'll save my extreme speeding for later. I'm sure you get a Kyogre somewhere. Well, let's go ditto the twinkling star and see what that Espath is made of. <laughs> I would like one of my own, please. Yeah, and they just protect. That's basically what I expected. Show me Willow. Ah, uh, that's gravity. Okay. Well, if you got Hypnosis, so do I. And your Sableye can no longer do stuff. Alright, we're speed boost. Cool. Oh, but we swapped in this turn so we don't get the speed boost. That's how that works. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, Hypnosis, Luminocrash, Trick Room, Protect. They're probably gonna throw a Hypnosis at somebody. I should reply in kind. And I'll throw an Icicle Crash at their Espathra too, since it can't protect this turn. Yep, Sableye's gonna swap anyway. So we're either gonna get the Hypnosis or we're gonna get the Crash. And that's Fluttermane. Hello, Fluttermane. You brought both of your ghosts because you saw Dragonite. Cool. <laughs> Uh, and a speed boost on that. Alright, your Spathra is gonna go first and just put mine to sleep. Okay. Don't really mind that. Uh, I guess I could have gone for a taunt onto yours here, but whatever. That's good damage. I'll take it. And with one speed boost, we wouldn't be faster than their flutter. I'm wondering if I trick room for my Chen Pao to go first. <laughs> oh, they're just so fast. Um, I think I'll Hypnosis, I'll try to Hypnosis at least. Into their Espathra. And I'll just protect. Stall out a turn of this sleep. And I got slept before I moved, so I already burned one turn. I could wake up here. Yeah, they go for Hypnosis into Chen Pao. Predictable. And fake tears. They have fake tears and they have Lumina Crash, huh? And we are still asleep. Is this gonna be a gleam this turn or something? Oh, I don't want to go for Sucker Punch. Can we take a hit? Maybe we can. I'm gonna Hypnosis their Espathra. That's my Terra Ghost, that won't help. And Icicle Crash their Espathra. Yeah, they go for the Hypnosis. I expected that, I didn't expect to be able to move. I just didn't want a Sucker Punch. Because then I would not be able to burn a sleep turn this turn. Alright, we wake up and put them back to sleep. Good. <laughs> We'll put them to sleep in return, not back to sleep. They've never been asleep. We're all 
already faster than their Flutter Main, which is cool, but we're probably gone. Yeah, goodbye. And our Chen Pao is taking a nap. I think it's Zassy in time. Behemoth Blade threatens Fluttermane. So maybe I actually just attack a spot where I want that gone. And I'll try to Icicle Crash their Fluttermane slot. Uh, no swaps, no protects. Unless a spot was trying to protect there. And just an icy win from Flutter, okay. You're gonna let me get both of these attacks off if Chen Pao wakes up, cool. I at least get rid of a spa throw, which is awesome. Get out of my face, I don't like you. Ugh. Oh. And do we wake up? Yes we do! Icicle Crash, in gravity, won't miss. Won't KO either, but... Now gravity's gone, they could go back to Sableye to put it back if they wanted, but I don't think they want it anymore. Sableye could also be annoying with, like, Will-O-Wisp, since I have all physical attackers left. But Chen Pao is at least immune to Prankster. Okay, it's kind of cool. This is going to be, what, a fake tears comboed into Water Spout? Yeah, it probably is. Katera Grass. I don't think extreme speed locking in is a good call, so yeah. Terra Grass here. And just throw a blade at Fluttermane. Sucker Punch Kyogre, I guess? It'll do good damage. Okay, they're Terrastalizing. They're Kyogre. Into water. That makes sense. You're going before my Zacian. I don't know how much speed I have, but like, you could definitely invest to be faster after an Icy Wind, so it's nothing crazy. Can you? No, I actually think... Yeah, no, Kyogre can catch that after an Icy Wind. I'm pretty sure. Even if I was max speed, which I doubt I am. Sucker Punch. Over half. Let's go. Fake Tears. Yep, saw that coming. Now, are you going to Origin Pulse, risking a miss, or are you going to Water Spout and do no damage? Water Spout for no damage. <laughs> it's still going to be damage, but like... Yeah, that was, that was a lot of damage, actually. Wow. That was too much damage. Um, I guess instead of taking Fluttermane, I could have... No, that was right. Locking extreme speed would be really scary. Is it what I need to do, though? No, I don't think so. I think Aerial Ace is fine. Unless they're, like, reading that and going for Ice Beam. In which case, I should play Rough the Sableye and Aerial Ace Kyogre. Oh, they're setting gravity, so they're going for Origin Pulse. Gotcha. Oh, and they have Blizzard! No! Ow! Oh no, I did not expect Blizzard. Oh no. 
Oh, great. Oh, that was... Oh, wow. Good game. Wow. Oh, what could I have done there then? Nothing. <laughs> Extreme speed? Hope for a crit? GG. All right. Ooh. Calyrex Shadow plus Regigigas Weezing. They also have female in DD, Urshifu, and Fluttermane. So Extreme Speed isn't great here, because they have two Ghosts and Psychic Terrain. Dragonite is staying on the bench. Wide Guard could be good here against that Calyrex. Ditto could be good against Calyrex too. What's our Terra type? Ghost? Ooh. Spooky. Um, I also like Urshifu. Alright, if they're gonna go with Regigigas Weezing out front, how do I want to handle that? I want to not get burned by that Weezing. So Taunt Chen Pao seems good. And even with our ability turned off, we can still do some decent damage with Chen Pao. And then maybe something to threaten the Gigas right away? Ditto won't transform until Weezing goes down, so don't lead that. Uh, I guess Zacian could be fine. I want Ditto. Just, I want Weezing to go down first. And then finally... Uh, is it Pelipper for Wide Guard? No, I think it's Scarf Urshifu. I think Scarf Urshifu can clean up if we get some good damage going. It's not like we're putting up rain or anything, but being faster than Cali Shadow is important. I feel like being faster than it is more important than Wide Guard. That's a that's a card. I'm not sure what I'm looking at though. All right. It's exactly what I thought it would be. Okay. And neutralizing gas comes out first, so we don't get to see that. All right. Uh, let me check my stats. Adamant Chen Pao. Pretty fast on the Zacian. Ditto is just <laughs> doesn't matter how Ditto's trained. And then yeah, we've got max speed Adamant with some special defense. Okay. That all sounds good to me. I need to taunt the Weezing. Do I want to call a high horsepower and, and Terra Grass right away? No, because I don't want to lose my typing right now. Because then Weezing could just start attacking me, especially because I taunted it. Yep, there's the taunt. No Willows from you, please. And it is a high horsepower, but we dodge it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Let us now double the Gigas. Because I think we probably have enough power to take out Gigas now. Uh, they're going to Terra defensively. But is it going to be able to take Icicle Crash or Behemoth Blade? No. Oh, it's going to take it much worse now. Okay. That's more of an offensive Terra. But you're not gonna live long enough to get it done. Cause this will put you in Ice and Crash range. And it connects, okay. Whew. I prefer Ice Spinner, but as long as Icicle Crash connects, I'm happy. And then they're probably gonna break Chen Pao's Sash, I guess. Uh, now who is this? Calyrex? Indeed. Indeed, who doesn't have an ability at the moment. Funny. I think what I want to do is taunt the Indeedy. I'll throw a Behemoth Blade at Weezing. I don't think I need another Swords Dance. Okay, is it just going to be follow me to get Calyrex in safely then? I get another attack boost here, which is awesome. So Ndidi's not going to appreciate this hit. Ndidi probably goes down. Yeah, 
his Calyrex. It has to be a follow me or you just lost your Calyrex for no reason. So that must be what it is. Yeah. Um, I kind of wish I could have an Indeedy right now, but it's in the wrong slot and it's about to go down. But one cool thing is we're actually going to get our taunt onto Calyrex now. Meaning they cannot protect. So unless they can Oko a Zacian from full health, they're in trouble. And then we've got Urshifu to pick it up. We've got Ditto, who can not be very useful, honestly. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just Protect and Behemoth Blade. Yeah. Because I don't want them to go for, like, Draining Kiss to get a cheeky KO before they go down. Yeah, just Astral Barrage. Which, maybe we take, maybe we don't on Chen Pao, but... Zacian definitely takes this. No Terra Boost, even if you were Specs. I don't think that's Specs damage. No, that's Life Orb damage. Okay. So you're gone. No Sash on you. Goodbye. And now it's a 4v1 versus Weezing. Cool. Sludge Bomb into my Chen Pao. That's fine. You're gonna take a Taunt and a Beh What I could do is bring in Ditto on this slot. Imposter won't activate because of neutralizing gas and because there's nothing in front of it. And then transform into my Zacian to have two Zacians. But that's like meaningless because I can also just click the KOU button and they'll die. <laughs> but GG. That was a fun one. Even though Ditto didn't really hit the field. I don't know what that is though. And we are back. I think Ditto did great today. Uh, especially as Blood Moon or Saluna, which is basically as powerful as a Restricted. Uh, I do wish this team had a little bit more for terrain control, because I did not like playing in Psychic Terrain with all these priority moves. But overall, this team was a blast. Go ahead and try it yourself if you want to use Ditto, because uh, it's a good Ditto team. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.